Good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to begin by commending the dedication and contributions of the European citizens taking part in this ambitious exercise in democracy. Earlier this week, French President Emmanuel Macron outlined in this chamber French priorities for its six-month Council presidency. He made just a brief reference to the conference, so it's worthwhile recalling what he said about it in March 2019. He said, freedom, protection, progress, we must build a European renaissance on these pillars, and citizens everywhere are asking to participate in change. So let us set up a conference for Europe in order to propose all the necessary changes to our political project without taboos, not even the revision of the treaties. It will define a roadmap for the European Union. In this Europe, the people will truly have regained control of their destiny. And now, the people, through the citizen panels, have produced impressive and specific recommendations, many based around a call for closer integration and substantial institutional reform. Citizens want the EU to be more active on climate change, public health, human rights, gender equality, rule of law, security and defence. Citizens also want greater involvement in decision making and more accountability from decision makers. They want to know essentially what happens in Brussels, how does it happen and who makes it happen. My Office of European Ombudsman has focused a lot on the lack of transparency in the work of the Council. And while some governments, notably the Dutch and the Danish, are working to improve accountability and therefore legitimacy, there remains some resistance from larger member states. The good ideas presented this weekend will not alone automatically lead to change. The EU needs to focus on outcomes and avoid getting lost in process. The ideas of the citizen panels are the results of serious and thoughtful deliberation and should be respected and lead to concrete action. Without such concrete action, the conference may be seen simply as gesture politics, a hollow exercise in citizen washing. This conference sprang from a belief that the EU can listen and learn from the European public. A failure to do so risks the loss of public trust. Thank you for your attention.